G'day guys, welcome back once again. Thank you for stopping by and having a look at this one. Uh, this is going to be number 8 out of the add-ons I've covered so far. Um, been doing a couple, pretty much two each day over the last few days. Um, try to get some out there. Uh, this number 8 being extended quest log 3.6.1. Okay, so um, let's go in and have a look. Uh, I believe, again, there's no dependencies for this one, but if so, I'll make sure to put them down below, um, as well as the download link to take you uh, straight to it, and like always, just download um, to and extract to uh, your WoW interface add-ons folder, just like all the others. Um, let's skip this little somatic here, and get straight into it. Um, we don't need that, we don't need that. There we go. Um, so, extended quest log, okay? Obviously, going to need some quests to to uh, sort of get the full effect of this. So let's just pick up this one. This is the this is the quest log beforehand. Okay, we'll pick up this first quest. So obviously, straight away you can you can notice that this is this is not default like Blizzard. This is um, definitely customizable and everything like that. It looks way better. I think the the old it's been so long since I've used the Blizzard standard one. I think it's like a quarter of the size, like right there, even, you know. Um, yeah. So, so straight away, uh, you pick up a quest, and it's um, it gets listed here under the, um, the obviously zones like area you're in. So, um, Shadow Glen. Um, if you click on it, it's going to open up the. Uh, the quest text on the right hand side and you scroll down and you're going to have all the information there. If you were to hold and shift click on this, uh, left shift or I think any shift works and then just click on it, um, it's going to track the quest and it's going to pop it over here and it's fully movable and um, all that fun stuff. Okay, so you can put it wherever you want. Let's just put it there for now. Um, um, Okay, up the top we have the exit button. Okay, and if you press L default, it pops back up. Um, and you click on the quest to open up again once it's on the side. It's got the list of 1 to 20 quests here. Right next to it, it's got restore quest log, takes it back to normal and opens it back up. Moving down, you've got the scroll arrow here, um, like normal. And then down the bottom, we have options. And on the other side, we have abandoned quests and share quests. They're pretty standard as well. There's nothing up here in this quest. Um, but here we go. Options. If we open up the options, it's going to give a whole list of options here. Um, show quest levels, which is basically just a little two beside the little quest there. If you click that, it's going to disappear. There's no two there anymore. If we click it again, it's going to show levels. So I think that's this is all default, by the way. Um, so this is untouched how it is out the box. So I think this is pretty good as good as it is. Um, auto complete quests uh, that can be very handy if you are in a rush. Um, otherwise, it's not really needed. Um, just so you know what you're getting and stuff like that. Um, inform on quest completion. I haven't used that before, but um, I'm sure it won't go. Uh, couldn't be a bad thing. Um, maybe just highlights the quest or something like that. I'm not too sure. Um, let's just do it. Let's, let's actually do that one. How about we do that, hey? Kill seven of these as we go. Um, and what else we got? Lock quest log. Okay, so that's um, obviously movable now. So I think there's pretty pretty standard. Um, we go over here. We kill another one. Down below, colors. Uh, obviously, pretty self-explanatory. You know, you can customize the look of this kind of stuff, but I'm just going to leave it. It's not needed. Um, well, personally, I think. Uh, let's kill a couple boars. Open back up the quest log. Open back up the options. Sorry about that. Um, now, tracking options. Uh, this is this this is what this is on the right hand side. This is the tracker. Um, so objective markers, obviously. 
So that's going to go in with like um, uh, like meta map and stuff, other add-ons to track on your map and things like that. Um, these little uh, icons here, that's the if you look on the side next to the word young there, it's got a plus now and it's got like a little circle now and a little arrow and you can change it to however you want. Okay, I might just leave that as it is. Um, going down, add new quests, like as, as you pick up a quest, add new quests to the tracker, so maybe if you want to do that, that might be pretty handy. Um, remove finished quests from tracker, so once you've completed this quest here, um, it'll automatically uh, like remove it, untrack it. Um, add untracked quests on progress. If you want to use that, that's fine. Otherwise, maybe down. Um, you can like, sh you know, do the scale. You can sh set the minimize thing. Uh, now, now there's like a little. You can do that if you like. I think that's pretty handy. Might I might use that from now on. Actually, that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, scale, size, and stuff like that. Pretty standard. Um, and tilted options. Yeah. So this is all pretty default at the moment. The only thing I changed is pretty much the minimize thing and um, inform on quest completion. But other than that, you can restore to default. Um, yeah, you know, self-explanatory. I think this is a really good add-on. Um, not much really else to say about this one, extended quest log. I just think, even without this stuff, this tracker stuff, just seeing all the available quests on the right hand uh, left hand side here is amazing and it all lists um, all different quests in all the, all, the, all the zones so if you're up a few levels um, so yeah I think this is a great add-on um, but there but yeah that's pretty much it uh, that being number eight out of the add-ons um, I'll hopefully maybe try to get some more out over the next couple of days let me know what you think I hope these help people um, that's what I'm doing them for Especially with the new servers coming up, you know, a lot of people are going to be looking around for add-ons and uh, places to find them and download them and stuff, which I know can be a struggle at times for certain add-ons. So I'm trying to help out some people here. Um, so hopefully you like it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.